I shall no more to see, to see. Here shall I die, sure. This, this is a very scurvy tune to sing at a man's funeral. Here's my comfort. <laughs> Uh oh, master, the swab of the boat swimming, the gunman and his mate, the loved Mal made Mary and Marjorie. Yeah, but none of us cared for Kate, though she had a tongue with a tang. She cried to a sailor, go ahead. She loved not the savor of tar nor of pitch, though a tailor might scratch her wherever she did itch. <laughs> Boys, let her go hang. This is a scurvy tune, do. But here's my comfort. Do not torment me. <laughs> What's the matter? Have we devils here? Do you put tricks upon us with savages and men of Ind? Ha! I have not escaped drowning to be a fear now of your. Four legs. Or, <laughs> it hath been said, as proper a man as ever went on four legs, cannot make him give ground. And so it shall be said again, whilst the funnel breathes at not. The spirit torments me. <laughs> this is some monster of the island with four legs who has got. As I take it, and if you, where the devil should he learn our language? I would give him some relief, if it be but for that. If I can recover him and keep him tame and get to Naples with him, he's a present for any emperor that ever trod on his blood. Oh, do not torment me, I prithee. I'll bring my wood home faster. Oh, yes, he, yes, he's in his fit now, and does not talk after the wisest. He shall taste of my bottle. If you've never drunk wine afore, it'll go near to remove this fit. If I can recover him and keep him tame, I will not take too much for him. He shall pay for him that hath him, and that is only. Oh, thou hast not named it to hurt me yet. Oh, thou wilt a nun. Oh, I know it by thy trembling. Now, prosper works upon me. <laughs> Come on your ways, open your chaps. Here is that which will give language to you, cat. <laughs> Come on, open your mouth. This will shake your shaking. I <laughs> that sound. <laughs> oh, you cannot tell who's your friend. Open your chaps again.
<laughs> it's the storm overblown. I hid me under the dead moon cat scabbardy for fear of the storm. And, and art thou living, Stefano? Oh, Stefano, Tony of Holland has escaped. Wow! Really, do not turn him out. My stomach is not constant that the sail is heaved overboard. By this bottle, which I made from the bark of a tree with my own two hands as I was <laughs> Stefano, cast any more of this? The whole butt, man. Oh, <laughs> my cellar is in a rock by the seaside where my wine is hidden. How now, moon cat? How does thy in you? Oh, has thou not brought from heaven out of the moon? I am sure. I was the man in the moon when time was. Ah, I have seen thee in her. I do adore thee, my mistress shall thee, and thy dog, and thy bush. Uh, yes, yeah, <laughs> I will replenish it alone with new comfort, I swear. By this light, a very shallow monster, I am feared of him, a very weak monster, and, and the man in the moon. Oh, most poor, prejudiced monster, well drawn monster, in good sight. <laughs> I will show thee every pearl each of the island. I'll kiss thy foot. <laughs> I pray thee, be my god. By this light, a most perfidious and drunken monster. When his god's asleep, he'll rob his bottle. <laughs> I'll kiss thy foot. I'll swear myself thy subject. Come then, down and swear. <laughs> I shall laugh myself at this pumpy headed monster, a most scurvy monster, if I find it in my heart to beat him. <laughs> Come, <clears throat> kiss. The poor monster is a drink, an abominable monster. I'll show thee the best springs. I'll pluck thee berry. I'll fish for thee and get thee wood enough. A plague upon the tyrant that I serve. I'll bear him no more sticks. But follow thee, thou wondrous man. A most ridiculous monster to make a wonder of a poor drunkard. I pray thee, let me bring thee where crabs grow, and I with my long nails will dig thee pig nuts. Show thee a jay's nest. Instruct thee how to snare the nimble barmacet. I'll bring thee to cluster and silver. And sometimes yeah. I'll get thee young scabbles from the rock. Scabbles? Scabbles! 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 I pray thee, go with me. Ah! Once the lead away with no more talking. Drink it up. The king and all our
Delight them sets off. Some kinds of baseness are nobly undergone, and most poor matters point to rich ends. <laughs> this is my mean task. Uh, would be as heavy to me as odious, if not the mistress, whom I serve, quickens what's dead and makes my labors pleasures. My sweet mistress weeps when she sees me work and says such baseness. Never like executor. Uh, but I forget. Such thoughts do even refresh my labor, most busiest when I do it. Alas, now, pray you work not so hard. <laughs> and when the lightning hath burnt up those logs you burned towards the pile, a prey, set it down and rest you. My father's heart is steady. Pray now, rest yourself. He's safe for these three hours. Oh, most noble mistress, uh, the sun will set before I shall discharge. What I strive to do. If you'll sit down, I'll bear your logs the while. Right, give me that. I'll carry it to the pile. No, precious creature. I had rather crack my sinews, break my back, than you should such dishonor undergo while I sit lazy by. It would become me as well as this does you, and I will do it with much more ease, for my goodwill is to it and yours is against. Poor <laughs> worm, thou art infected. This visitation shows it. You were by at night. I do beseech you, chiefly, so I may set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my God, I broke your mind to say so. Admired Miranda. Indeed, the top admiration. Worth was dearest to the world. But you, oh, you, so perfect and so pure, are created of every creature's best. I do not know one of my sex of no woman's face remembered, save from my last night own. Nor have I seen more than I may call men than you, good friend. And my dear father, how creatures are wrought, I'm skillless of, but I would not wish any companion in the world but you. Uh, but I prattle something too wildly, and my father's precepts I there, and you forget it. <laughs> I am, uh, in my condition, a prince, Miranda. I do think a king, although I would not so. I would no more endure this wooden slavery. <coughs> Speak! The very instant that I saw you, did my heart fly to your service, there to make slave to it. And for your sake, am I this patient logman? <laughs> Do you love me? Oh, heaven, oh, earth, crown what I profess with kind event. If I speak truth, Apollo was in his birth, but death was voted to the world. I do, above all else in the world, to love, prize, honor you. I am a fool to weep at what I am glad of. Fair encounter of two most rare affections. Heaven's rain grace on what breathes between them. Oh, my God. mistress dearest is thus humble ever. My husband then? I, with a heart as willing, and mine as yours freedom. Here's my hand. And mine, with my heart in it. And now farewell till half an hour hence. So glad of this as they I cannot be, who are surprised withal, but my rejoicing at nothing could be more. I'll to my book, for yet ere supper time must I perform much business appertaining. 